You know, I honestly think there's more obstacles, most of them imaginary, but more obstacles in the way of you getting to the start line of a journey than there is obstacles on the journey itself, if you know what I mean. And this is our start line here, a uh, rooftop in the North Jordan with 400 miles of walking ahead of us. But see, getting to this point here was a journey in itself. So how do we get here? I'll do this quick. We cleaned toilets for many months. I'm really good at cleaning toilets now. And we penny pinched, although would have saved a lot more if we didn't like the pub so much. And every day we talked about it, we obsessed about it and dreamed about it until we could finally go and consequently lost our marble slightly in the process. <laughs> and then the day finally comes to say goodbye and then weirdly, you don't feel ready. But you say goodbyes and hit the road. First port of call for us was Amsterdam, because, well, we love Amsterdam. And as my granddad used to say, when in Rome, you eat spaghetti. When in Amsterdam, you eat mushrooms. He's having a fuzzy moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to talk yet, but... No. Big night last night. I lost my undies. That's all I can tell you about that. We paid for a thirty pound kebab. Two kebabs for thirty oh, pounds. I don't wanna know. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh. <laughs> you know, people questioned us when we went on a bender in Amsterdam before walking 400 miles. How dare they? Okay. I am totally fine. You know, people think we're dumb. <laughs> everybody now it's been a while since I've lived like this travel like this it's also been a while since I've talked to a camera really in 40 odd days when we get to the Red Sea inshallah perfectly designed perfectly molded for walking and living like this but right now we're perfectly designed and molded for the pub in England but today the first date is always just get over the start line and we can the trip starts tomorrow really but this is it Start the Jordan Trail. First time, full weight. This is it. He's got yeah, very heavy bag. He got something in it. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good? I'm fine right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. The beginning of the Jordan Trail. There's nothing more to do but walk now. We're gonna go down there and sleep. Now, I know some of you get a bit frustrated because I have lack of preparation and proper gear. I understand the frustration. I also get frustrated, imagine being me. On this trip, I have brought my laptop over a tent. So, so we're hoping it doesn't rain, or I'm hoping. He's got a nice cozy tent. Colleague, put it there. I gotta go get the camera. <laughs> you come? Yeah. I don't know. 
Adam just said, we are free. Yes, we are, colleague. We are free. To do whatever we want. Well, I mean, we can only walk, really. But you see the point. Hey. Oh, we've got a dog. We've got a dog. Oh, it's lost its mum, I think. Can we keep him? We've got a dog now, man. We've got a dog. You need to go home now, mate. I'd love to keep him. A nice bit of breeze. We need that. And if everyone's wondering, our companion, Mohammed, we call him. He's still with us. Yeah, Mohammed. That's a good point. We didn't check his genitals. Gen she? No, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> yeah. Women can, you shouldn't judge women on the genitals. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> oh, mate. I'm sorry. You have to go home. So called Judith. Judith. Yeah, with a penis, but yeah. Penis, it's Judith. Judith, we changed the name again to Judith. Why? Because they, our, both our mums are called Judith. Yeah, and our mums are lesbians now, together. Yes. No, no, they're not yet, but not that's yet. the we'll dream. That's the dream. Together. Very weird dream. Anyway, Judith, you are quite light, you know. You can easily make it the whole way to Akbar. I'm holding him like Simba. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh. This is where Jesus lived. Did you ever read the Bible? Uh, I went to a Christian school and I hated it. You read it, it's great. The second one's better. I'm more of an Old Testament guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More your era. I like the dragons in it. And... Say goodbye to Judith. I mean, we, we lost her. She was crying, it's kind of heartbreaking, but we just can't take on a child at the moment, can we? No. We've not even got anywhere to stay. Well, this is what we're thinking. He thinks it's abandoned. It's definitely abandoned. Now see, when I think back to the other trips I've done in my life, I've never really managed to feel any pride for it. I don't know why, I always kind of thought there was something up with me, like why can't I allow myself to be proud of something? What I learned is that these trips, they're not as difficult as people think. I used to think that you had to be very tough and very brave and a special type of person to do these things. But if anything, I realised that I'm far from special. The one thing I'm proud of is young Bob, who back 10 years ago managed to ignore the doubts enough and dare to begin. And if I hadn't done that, my life would be very different. I hope I don't sound like a knob there. I might sound like a knob.